All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the fourth part of the show, we are going to talk about Steelers General Manager Omar Khan and his comments uh, praising uh, his quarterbacks, uh, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields. And the Steelers, of course, we've talked about them a lot. Quarterback room is completely different than what it was last year. Got Justin Fields, Russell Wilson, and uh, also Kyle Allen as well as the number three quarterback. Um, although he really, he's just there to be a backup. He's not going to, uh, he's not going to be a starter. But I just wanted to get into some of the comments that uh, Omar Khan had to say uh, recently. So this is what he had to say. He said, if you would have told me that we'd be sitting here with Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, and he also said, and Kyle Allen five months ago, I wouldn't have believed you. And he said that uh, via Pro Football Talk. He said, we really like Justin coming out of college. He had an up-and-down situation in Chicago, and the opportunity was there to get him, and I'm excited. He's really looked awesome. He's a great individual, too. I didn't know him personally until he got here. What a special person he is. And... Yeah, I mean, I think if you would have told a lot of people that, you know, this, that would be the Steelers quarterback room before it ended up happening, uh, a lot of people would not believe it. But, yeah, um, this is the Steelers quarterback room. And I know, uh, you know, from what I was reading, um, there's still some concerns with Justin Fields and, you know, his accuracy and his footwork. With Russell Wilson, uh, th there's been some positives. Um I know uh, when I did a segment, uh, either it was earlier this week or early last week, they were talking about how Russell Wilson kind of looks like how he did in Seattle. But obviously, when you're practicing and it's not a you're not it's not a game. Yeah, I mean you're gonna make some good throws, and it's like wow, that was that was great. But now when you're playing in a game, it's gonna be completely different. Um, but yeah, I mean at this point, Russell Wilson looks like he's gonna be the starter. And, you know, maybe it's possible that, um, you know, Justin Fields gets some playing time at some point. I know I, I saw, so I think the Madden trailer dropped and it showed Justin Fields was returning kicks in the trailer. So, you know, people, I, I guess, you know, there, there were people making a big deal out of that. It's like, come on, guys, it's, it's a video game. Now, let's see what happens, you know, in real life. Does he end up returning kicks? I mean, I think it would be foolish of the Steelers to do that because, you know, you're risking injury there. But, um, yeah, let's let's pump the brakes on that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, with the Steelers quarterback position, that that's, some, that's another thing that I'm really intrigued about this upcoming season. And we'll actually be going over the Steelers' schedule on Monday, which I think is uh, something that, um, you know, because the, the Steelers we've talked about in our production meeting – and, you know, we've talked about how tough the Steelers' schedule is and, you know, how many games are they going to win. I'm going to go over the schedule on Monday, and I'm going to try to find a way to give them at least nine wins because I think that's what they will still end up getting because they somehow find a way. Last year they went 10-7 and seven and made the playoffs with three different starting quarterbacks. I think they have a better quarterback room than they did last year. I think they'll find a way to at least get nine wins, which actually will end up being less than what they had last year. But the other thing, too, is they also had, you know, some things go right for them because you had some injuries. So they played, you know, they played some teams that, you know, had injuries at the quarterback position. Like they swept the Bengals last year, um, you know, when there was no Burrow, of course. Uh, you know, the Ravens, they sat their starters the final week of the regular season. So... Yeah, I, well, I mean, I do, I do think that win in Seattle. That I mean, I, I give them credit. That was, you know, I, I didn't think they were going to win that game, um, but you know, give them credit. They did win that on the road, tough environment. Um, but yeah, I mean, they did get some breaks uh, at times during the year, which kind of led to them making the playoffs. And then what happened? They ended up losing to the Bills. But up, oh, my ball and my dog is barking, but. Um, yeah, the, the quarterback situation here in Pittsburgh, I'm curious to see how Russell Wilson's going to be. I mean, I've said it all along. I feel like we're still going to see the Russell Wilson from 
Denver. I don't think we're really going to see the one from Seattle. But they say he looks good. I mean, you know, he talked about being motivated. He feels rejuvenated. So, you know, maybe, uh, you know, he goes out there and he plays really well. Um, and he looks like the Russell Wilson from Seattle. Because that, that'll, that would change the whole complexion of that team. If he ends up being the Russell Wilson from Seattle. Um, but I just don't see it because it's been it's it's been a while. It's been a couple years. So, but I mean, I, I think you know, being in Pittsburgh probably you know is a better situation for him than it was in Denver, just because. I mean, I I don't think. I mean, we had to see what Nathaniel Hackett was as a head coach, and then once, you know, we went through the season, yeah, it just. He was not a good coach. That was just not for him. And then he was a, Russell Wilson was a little bit better with Sean Payton. Um, but, you know, people still have their complaints, which I get. So now we'll see how he is with the Steelers. Um, but, yeah, and then, you know, if he doesn't play well, I mean, Justin Fields is going to get an opportunity. He's definitely going to get an opportunity. Um, so we we got to see how, how short that leash is with Russell Wilson. Because, yeah, if, I mean, if he starts to not play well, you know, Justin Fields is going to get a chance. So, um, but it just, I mean, the Steelers right now, like I ranked them as, you know, four in the division. Cause I, I just, you know, I, I think the Bengals are better. The Ravens, I, even though, even though the Steelers actually, you know, last year, I, I, I get it. They set their starters, but the Steelers did sweep the season series with the Ravens last year. Um, they split the year before against the Bengals. They swept them last year. But, yeah, there was no Burrow. So it probably would have been at least a split. Um, you know, the Steelers, they, you know, they're still going to be a competitive team. You know, they're going to find a way. So, um, you know, I, 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 like I said, I am curious to see how, uh, you know, the quarterback position plays out. And what's going to happen after this year? Because I know, I remember seeing that, you know, the Steelers were maybe looking to keep Russell Wilson long-term. Um, you know, maybe Justin Fields, they try to keep him long-term. That I'm curious to see what happens after that. But at the same time, don't want to rush the season either. I talked about not rushing the summer. I don't want to rush the NFL season when it gets here. Because once it starts, it doesn't stop. It's, it's going to go right by. Like a passing train. It's going to go so fast. And then we're going to be like, well, that was fast. That was quick. And then, you know, you're looking forward to next season. So, um, yeah, it's, um, you know, an another interesting thing to keep an eye on. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But the Steelers, they seem to be encouraged by both quarterbacks, even though, again, there's been some articles that come out talking about, you know, Justin Fields and, like I said, the inaccuracy and the footwork not looking great, but we'll see. And maybe, you know, just sitting behind Russell Wilson, I think that that can help Fields. I mean, I don't really expect Russell Wilson to be a mentor. Uh, I I think they're going to help each other, but I mean, I don't I don't think Russell Wilson his main priority is going to be to mentoring Justin Fields. You know, Russell Wilson wants to win football games. And, you know, put some respect back on his name because, you know, he's kind of been a meme these last couple of years. You know, he wants to get back to being one of those elite quarterbacks because that's what he was at one point. He went from being an elite quarterback to now a meme. That's, you know, so he's trying to, like I said, put some respect back on his name. That's his priority. You know, I, I guess... There'll be some mentorship there, but I, I don't. It, it, that's not really his job. Um, but I, there really, is, I mean, nothing's come out about there being any issues between the two. So um, I think they've they've both spoken positively about each other. Um, so I think we would have definitely heard something if there were some issues. So, but that, I mean, that's really my thoughts on the quarterback situation. Um, you know, just some comments made by the general manager. You know, he's, he's 
speaking very positively about, you know, Fields and, and Russ, of course. So, uh, you know, let's see what the Steelers do. I mean, this is, I mean, we thought it was going to be Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph battling it out. That's not the case. You know, they're on new teams. So, um, but that's really my thoughts on, on the Steelers there. So, we're going to take our final break of the show. And then when we come back, we'll talk about Trevor Lawrence and his recent comments, you know, after getting that big extension with the Jaguars, of course. Um, you know, we'll kind of talk about that, just, you know, some things he had to say, and that'll pretty much do it here on this uh, on this Friday. So, um, you know, the week, of course, always goes fast. Um, and once again, we uh, made it to the end of the week. So, yeah, this is what we will we'll talk about Trevor Lawrence when we come back. So, with that being said, for one final time today, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 